Welcome to our channel. Join us on a fascinating journey into the realm of Islamic eschatology as we delve into the intricate world of Gog and Magog in Islamic eschatology, insights and interpretations. Together, we'll explore the profound significance of these enigmatic figures, their roles in the grand tapestry of end times, and the diverse perspectives they evoke. Prepare to uncover hidden meanings, delve into rich interpretations, and gain a deeper understanding of the spiritual messages embedded within. Let's embark on this enlightening quest to unravel the mysteries of Gog and Magog as foretold in Islamic traditions. Subscribe, engage, and let's explore together. Gog and Magog in Islamic Eschatology, Insights and Interpretations The eschatological beliefs within Islam have captivated believers and scholars alike, offering a glimpse into the culmination of human history and the ultimate reckoning of all souls. Among these intricate beliefs, the concept of Gog and Magog, Yajuj and Majuj in Arabic, stands as a fascinating element within Islamic eschatology. This comprehensive exploration will delve into the multifaceted interpretations and insights surrounding the enigmatic figures of Gog and Magog within the context of Islamic teachings. Origins and References The Quran, Islam's holy scripture, contains references to Gog and Magog in Surah al kaf 1894-99, and Surah Al-Anbiya, 2196. These references provide foundational insights into the narrative, albeit with limited details. In these verses, Dilkarnayan, a figure widely believed to be the historical Alexander the Great, encounters two nations, one oppressed by Gog and Magog and the other dwelling in safety. Geographical and Symbolic Context The exact identity and location of Gog and Magog are subjects of debate among scholars. Some interpret them as historical nations, while others view them symbolically, representing forces of chaos and corruption. The Quran describes Gog and Magog as causing widespread mischief and disruption, and Dulkarnayan erects a barrier between them to contain their destructive tendencies. Apocalyptic Role Gog and Magog play a pivotal role in Islamic eschatology, signifying a phase of impending global upheaval. As the end times approach, it is believed that Gog and Magog will breach the barrier and surge forth to wreak havoc upon the world. Their emergence is seen as a precursor to the Day of Judgment, signifying the unraveling of the present order. Theological Interpretations Scholars throughout history have offered diverse interpretations of the Gog and Magog narrative. Some view them as literal nations that will emerge in the future, while others interpret them metaphorically, representing moral and spiritual corruption. The narrative serves as a reminder of the cyclical nature of history, where civilizations rise and fall due to ethical degradation. Diverse Hadith Traditions Islamic tradition, as recorded in Hadith, sayings and actions of the Prophet Muhammad, provides additional insights into Gog and Magog. These traditions elaborate on the barriers separating them from the world, their numbers, and their destructive tendencies. Narratives found in Sahih Muslim and Sahih al-Bukhari offer further nuances to the story. Gog and Magog's Demise Islamic eschatology envisions a divine intervention in response to the havoc wrought by Gog and Magog. A supplication by believers will lead to a pestilence befalling them, causing their annihilation. This moment marks the beginning of the end times, preceding the resurrection and final judgment. Contemporary Relevance The concept of Gog and Magog continues to capture the attention of Muslims and researchers in modern times. The narrative is often examined in the context of geopolitics, technological advancements, and global conflicts. Some interpretations even relate Gog and Magog to contemporary socio-political phenomena, invoking debates on the relevance of these ancient prophecies in the modern world. Interfaith Comparisons Interfaith dialogues explore parallels between the Gog and Magog narrative in Islam and similar concepts in other religions, such as the biblical references found in the Book of Ezekiel and the Book of Revelation. These comparisons shed light on the universal themes of cosmic struggle, divine intervention, and the ultimate triumph of good over evil. Conclusion the intricate narrative of Gog and Magog within Islamic eschatology encapsulates profound theological, moral, and symbolic dimensions. As a bridge between historical context and cosmic significance, this narrative highlights the tension between destructive forces and the resilience of righteousness. Its interpretations and insights continue to evolve, offering believers a lens through which to reflect on the complexities of the human journey and the eventual culmination of all things. In studying Gog and Magog, one uncovers not only an esoteric aspect of Islamic teachings but also a mirror reflecting the eternal struggle between chaos and order in the fabric of existence. Thanks for watching.